Okay, so let's have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2 for 2022, and this is question 3. So part A, the circle C has equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 8y plus k equals 0, where k is an element of R. The radius of C is 5 root 3. Find the value of k. What we're going to do is we're going to start by looking at the radius. So the radius is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Now the center of our circle, the center, is going to be half the coefficient of x with a sign change, so that's 1, half coefficient of the y uh, with the sign change, so that's minus 4, so it's 1 minus 4. So this is our center, which is actually minus g minus f. Minus g minus f. So all we've got to do is put the uh, values in here. So let's see, our center is 5 root 3. We're going to get the square root of uh, g squared, so g will be minus 1. We've got to square that. f is going to be plus 4. We've got to square that. And then minus c, well c is k, so it's going to be minus k. So really all we've got to do is solve this. First thing I'm going to do is square both sides. So you've got 25 times 3, which is 75. Over on this side, we've got, let's see, 1 plus 16 minus k. And then finally, bring these two over, 75 minus 16 minus 1. That'll give me uh, 70, no, that'll give me 58, 58. Now, minus k is 58, so k is equal to minus 58. Okay, let's have a look at b. The circle x minus 5 to be squared plus y plus 2 to be squared is equal to 20 has a tangent at the point 9 minus 4. Find the slope of this tan tangent. Okay, so again, there are a couple of ways of doing this. So let's see, our, our circle will look maybe something like this. The center of the circle is going to be 5 minus 2. We've got that from here. You just change the sign here, change the sign here. We've also got a tangent that's going to come down this way, let's say, and it hits the circle at 9 minus 4. Now, the first way I'm going to do this is just by looking at this radius here. We can find the slope of that line. So the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's say minus 4 minus minus 2 over 9 minus 5. So that's minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2, over 9 minus 5, which is 4, so minus a half. So the slope of this uh, radius here is minus a half. That means the slope of the tangent is, turn this upside down, change the sign, so it's going to be 2. So that's one way of doing it anyway. There is another way you can do it by doing implicit differentiation. So if we have our function here, what we can do is differentiate the left and right hand side and that'll give us the slope of any tangent around the circle. Then we put in 9 and minus 4. That'll give us the slope of our tangent. So let's do that. Uh, this way here is probably the simplest way of doing it. So we have x minus 5 to be squared. So we've got x, oops, we've got x minus 5 to be squared. Uh, well, so we got here, we've got plus y plus 2 to be squared, and that's equal to 20. So I'm going to differentiate this implicitly. So this is, we're going to differentiate this first. So it bring down the 2, write out the bracket, reduce by 1, and differentiate now what's inside, which is just going to be 1. Do the same here, bring down the 2, write down the bracket. Reduce the power by 1. You've got to differentiate what's inside the bracket now. There's a y in there, so it's really just going to be dy dx. Differentiate the right-hand side, you get 0. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I'll just bring this, this part here over to the other side. So it's 2y plus 2 is equal to, that's dy dx, of course, as well. dy over dx. That's minus 2x minus 5. And then finally dy dx is equal to minus 2 times x minus 5 
all over 2 times y plus 2. Uh, now, kind of running out of room here, so I'm just going to move over a little bit. So this here is uh, x minus 5, minus in front of it, and then here you've got a y plus 2. So this here is what we got when we differentiated this here, left and right hand side implicitly. So really this will give us the slope of any tangent at any coordinate x, y. Now the coordinate that we're interested in is 9, 4. So let's put in 9 and 4 in here. So I'm just going to come up this way. So if we put in 9 and 4, so we've got 9 and, it's actually minus 4. So let's put those in, 9 minus 4. So what do we get? So we'll get minus 9 minus uh, 5 divided by minus 4 plus 2. That will give us 9 minus 5 is 4. So that's going to be minus 4 on the top. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So that will also give us a tangent uh, whose slope is 2, which is what we got up here. So you get the same answer anyway. This way here, much easier way of doing it. OK, so let's have a look at C then. OK, so C, two circles each ha have both the x-axis and the y-axis as tangents, and each contains the point 1, 8, which is here, as shown in the diagram on the right. It's not to scale. OK, find the equation of each of these circles. So probably, oh yeah, so what we're going to do, I think, here is look at the center maybe of the bigger one here. Uh, this and let's say this is the radius of the circle here, which it is of course, and this is the radius here. So this is or, because we're going out here in the positive direction, this would be minus or here. Um, absolutely it's going to be or, the distance is always positive, but uh, in terms of coordinates it's going to be or minus or. This, this, this um, point here, the center here, is going to be or minus or. So let's just set up an equation then and see what happens. We have x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. We'll use this one here. Let's put in everything we know then. So we have x minus, well our h is r here. Our h is this, this r here. Oops. This r here, so we're going to put that in. So it's x minus or to be squared plus y minus k, but our k is just this value here, minus or, so it's minus minus or. Now we've got to square that, and that's equal to or squared. So this should, we should end up with a quadratic here, which will give us two solutions for or. So we get that has uh, 1 minus 8 on the circle somewhere. We need to put in the 1 and the minus 8 at the end as well, of course. So let's do that and see what happens. OK, so we have x squared minus, minus rx minus rx, that's minus 2rx plus r squared plus y squared. Now this here is a plus, so that's going to be plus uh, yr or ry. So it's going to be plus 2 or y plus r squared is equal to r squared. OK, so we have an r squared on the right. We have an r squared on the left. So we can subtract r squared from both sides. So we end up with 0 on the right-hand side. So we've got an x squared here. We've got minus 2 or x plus y squared plus 2 or y. Let me just take this bit here, move it out a little bit to the right. And then we have a plus r squared here as well. Now, this is our equation, our quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do at this stage is put in the point. So the point is 1 minus 8. So I'm going to put in 1 minus 8. So 1 goes in here. 2 times or 1 goes in there, minus 8 squared there, plus 2 or minus 8, plus or squared equal to 0. Now let's just simplify all of this. So we have 1 minus 2 or plus 2 or 
plus 64 minus 16 r plus r squared is equal to 0. That'll give me 65 minus 18 r plus r squared equal to 0. So let's just put the r squared first, minus 18 r next, plus 65 equal to 0. Now we've just got to solve this for r. So we've got um, two brackets here, equal to zero. So or, or, uh, let's see, 65 will give us one times 65. Five times 13, I think, will work. So let's put 13 there, five there. It's a plus, so it's going to be minus, minus. So that'll give us two values for or. Or is equal to 13, or or is equal to five. Now, if or is equal to five, That'll give us an equation of, so our answers then, if you like, are, equation number one will be x minus 5 to be squared plus y plus 5 to be squared is equal to 5, 5 is 25. Now the reason the sign has changed there, because remember up here, we have a minus here, and here we've got a plus. This is the equation of our circles. So there has to be a plus here, has to be a minus here. Okay, so that's the first one, and the second one then is going to be uh, x minus 13 to be squared, plus y plus 13 to be squared is equal to 13 squared, which is 169. So they're the two equations of our two circles. Okay, and that's it for this particular question.